And we're back. Welcome back. I'm Kelly Sparta, the Spirit Doctor, uh, Transformational Shaman. And today I'm going to talk to you about labyrinth walking. And so, you know, you see these labyrinths and you see people advertise this stuff all the time and they're like, oh, we have a labyrinth. It's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do with the labyrinth, okay? Well, so a labyrinth is a magical tool, okay? It is used to explore yourself and to explore your inner world. And so the, the act of walking the labyrinth is literally the act of walking into yourself. And so you do this and you, you do that and you go back and then you make your way into the center and that's where you are in the center of your being. And so you're, as you're walking yourself in, you are walking yourself into the center of your being. And then as you walk out, you're walking back out into the world. And so it is a meditative practice. And so what you're doing is you are either using it to simply bring yourself into your center and, and not thinking and doing a meditation, or if you're trying to get to something that you're like, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm not sure what I think about it. I, I can't, I can't like get, can't get to it. This is a great time to utilize a labyrinth because you start with the thought in your mind as you walk the labyrinth and you just walk the labyrinth and you use the labyrinth as the tool to get you to that place of telling you how you think or how you feel about something. And you set the intention that by the time you get to the center, you will have your answer. And then on the way out, you give your gratitude for having gotten the answer. Okay. And so, you know, this, this is the, the path. Now, I want to warn you, sometimes you'll get to the center and you'll be like, I don't have my answer. Still give your gratitude because you do have the answer. You just haven't let yourself know it consciously yet. So you'll probably have a dream about it or you wake up with it the next morning, whatever, but you definitely want to give your gratitude for it because the gratitude reinforces the answer arriving. Okay. So that's how you use a labyrinth. And I hope that the next time you see one, you will engage it and use it as a magical tool in your practice. Have a great one. Like, subscribe, and rate. And please let me know if you have ideas for additional topics. I'm always looking for topics for these. I do one of these twice a week. So I need a lot of topics. So if you have anything you want to know about, please let me know in the comments below. And I will talk to you next time.